Welcome back to Drive Time Chat. I just came out of a big uh, department store that I won't name, but uh, you all have been to them and you've shopped in their stores. And uh, I think that it's just very interesting to perceive the mentality of our culture and our society right now. Uh, this particular store obviously has bought into the obsession and we are involved in an obsession. And that is really sad because uh, biblically speaking, we are never to be obsessed with anything except doing the work of God's kingdom. And most Christians don't ever get their mind wrapped around that, so um, that doesn't happen real regularly, and so there's not a really big obsession with that. Whenever, whenever someone becomes obsessed with something or some project or some idea or their family becomes obsessed with a principle or philosophy of life or an idea or some event or whatever, or when your community or your nation becomes obsessed, you can almost be certain there are two things underneath it. Number one, um, someone is wanting to control and overpower something or someone. The second thing is there's big money in it because obsessions always produce money for people at the top. So I walk into uh, uh, this particular store and they have big signs as you walk in that you cannot miss, stating that if you want, you can walk right over and get your shot. And uh, that's okay. If, if you feel you need to take the shot for COVID, go take it. I got no problem with that. Um, and if you feel like you shouldn't and you know that in your heart, then don't. It's okay. This is America still, I think. And we're still allowed to have choice. But these big signs there, you know, you can step right over this way to our pharmacy and you can get your shot right now. No appointment needed. And that's fine. I mean, you know, but obviously it's the sign of an obsession in our nation. Um, I accidentally listened to seven minutes of the news today on radio as I was driving should have been doing a drive time chat, <laughs> but I wasn't. Um, but I listened to the radio and it was just, you know, 95% of it was about COVID. And it had, you know, I guess we're over all the other news right now. And there's nothing else to talk about. Well, I go do my shopping in this big store and um, I come outside and the, on the PA system as loud and as clear as you can possibly imagine, better than any music you ever hear outside is this gentleman saying, you know, we are here to help you get through this uh, pandemic. You can get your free COVID shot, or he calls it a vaccine. He says, you can get this right now, and this will help protect you. It will help protect your family. Big emotional appeal. And it will help your community get better quicker. There we go back into the whole issue of, you know, social or civil responsibility. And, uh, they're playing the harp strings and they're getting people's emotions going. And I'm standing there just going, seriously, uh, I'm 63 and I've lived through four other pandemics, one of which was a bigger killer than this one by a long ways. There is a reason why the government and the mainstream media are out there doing what they're doing. It's because they want complete power. They want complete control. And they're going to do it at any cost. And I have a funny feeling that, unfortunately, we've let it go a little too long without restraining and exercising the checks and balances that we as the public could. But that does not rule out one thing yet. And there is one thing that is above all of that. And that is the God that created all of this. And he has the power, the strength, and the authority to change all of this. Now, whether he does or not depends on two things. First of all, whether we even ask him. And I think there's a lot of Christians who say, I just wanted to get back to normal. And they don't even know what normal is because it was very abnormal for the last 70, 80 years. When you look at it from the sense of Christianity, godly living, and biblical principles, it's never been normal since World War II. And I'm not sure it was before that to any measure, but at least it was somewhat detectable. Um, and this is where the problem comes in at. Uh, 
people just want it to be normal and they don't want to do anything to really make it better. So it depends on whether we ask God or not. And the second thing is whether it is indeed even God's will. And that's where we have to be willing to accept whatever God is doing for our betterment. Paul talks about it and he says that everything works together for good. But he qualifies it. And he says, for those who are called, in other words, those who are Christians, those who are called, they hear the voice of God, they know how to respond to it. There's a lot of Christians that do not hear the voice of God, except for maybe 30 minutes on Sunday, and then it depends on what what room they're sitting in. Um, And they may not get it then, even if God is speaking through whoever is in the pulpit. But they are the called, the ones that are Christians, and and the second qualification is that they love him called according to his purpose and they love him how do we love him not by saying it not by smiling real big and wearing a t-shirt or a bumper sticker that says i love god as good as that may well be that isn't the that isn't the acid test the test is what do you do in god's kingdom that shows your love for god wow very interesting the obsession we have allowed ourselves to, shall we say, just kind of wake up into, and the world will take advantage of all of us until we stand on biblical principles and say, okay, we're done. We are going to do this the way God has told us in his word. And if you're thinking right now, well, what is that? That is definitive of your knowledge of God's word. God has told us very clearly how to act in a situation like this. We have a spiritual responsibility to our community to share the gospel so we better wake up we better do the work of the kingdom of god not the politicians of the united states and we better be willing to push the button and be verbal and be obvious christians who know and believe biblical truth and live in it every day And we're not ever going to be perfect, but we can do a whole lot better than we're doing. And I can too. We all can. So I'm not pointing the finger at anyone. I'm saying we all need to. Well, I'm about home, so have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.